Y'all remember that time I made that video up in the mountains in uh, Virginia? I'm in Virginia now. Look at this road I'm on. Coming up on some lines now. I've seen one truck coming so far. Actually, two trucks. I seen one truck that was like a like a sewer truck or something. Pump out septic tanks. 19 tons on that left, that left right there. If I make that left, yeah, I seen like a, a truck that clean out septic tanks. Then I seen a owner out uh, flatbed came coming out of here. And we both had to slow down to a crawl just to get through. And I passed the area where they got log trucks at. Yeah, but it's definitely country as hell out here. And the speed limit is 55. Ain't no way. I'm going like 25 right now. I'm headed to Blackest. Right now I'm in Wilson, Virginia. But I'm headed to Black Blackstone. Blackie Stone, however you say it. I think it has an I after the K. So that's why I said Blackie Stone. Blackie Stone, Virginia. Yeah, it's definitely crazy out here. I mean, it ain't really crazy. It's just different. Ain't nothing I can't handle. Just gotta slow down on these curves and make sure ain't nobody coming. Yeah, I've only seen one car since I've been out here. Y'all see it. Picking up a load of lumber that delivers in uh, Columbia, South Carolina on Monday. That'll set, that set me up. I already be in Columbia. That'll set me up to pick up the pipes and go to uh, New York on Monday. I got 3.3 miles left on this road. And then uh, total total of 10 miles till I get to the place. Log truck area right down the left where I just passed. They got plenty of trees out here to cut down. Get these logs. Get these logs and process them into plywood or whatever they do. Hey, I would not want to take this road at night time, I tell you that. I would hate for something to happen. Almost there. Anybody ever been to this place before? I can't tell you the name of it right now because I didn't write it down. I just, when I got the load, I put the address in my GPS. And yeah, definitely gotta be careful out here. Look at that bird. You know what's crazy? I haven't seen any deer out here. I'll tell you something crazy. When I was in Long Branch, uh, what was it Long Long Branch, New Jersey, where I was at yesterday? Like, like a that's I, that's right there on the beach. Like I didn't see the water, but I wasn't far from it. But I actually saw two deer, like just running around the neighborhood. The same when I was dropping that uh that black pipe off yesterday. I seen two deer out there. I haven't seen none out here in, in the forest. That's what this is, the forest. Nine more miles, almost there. Made it back to civilization. So this this place is called Black Blackstone, Virginia. I read it wrong. 
So this is some kind of military uh, installation out here. I've been seeing the signs. It says tank crossing. Then I saw the sign about the uh, wildlife reserve. You see that sign right there? It says tank crossing. Yeah, I've been seeing the signs about no hunting wildlife out here. I passed by. Turn left on. Avenue and then approaching destination looks on like, the right side. Looks like the place right here. Miles. You see the fence around it. Yeah, that's gotta be it. I pulled over a while back and wrote the name of it down. But I forgot already. I got it on my piece of paper over here beside me. Some kind of wood forest products or something. In 0.2 miles, turn left on Deering Avenue and then approaching destination on the right side. Right side. Five miles. So that's not so that's not the place that I saw. It's on the right side. Make a left, then it's on the right side. There's a lot of lot of lumber trucks out here. Fast seat entrance. Let's go ahead and make this left. like I'm in the right place. He doesn't, that doesn't look like a lumber hauler right there. He don't look like he hauls lumber. He, like he might be hauling some heavy equipment. He might be hauling to some uh, bulldozers or something. I love, I love going to places where I'm not sure where I'm at. Okay, there it is, Fort, Fort Pickett. Is that the name of this installation? Yeah, sometimes you go to places and you're not sure where the place is at. But then you, uh, Approaching destination in a half mile. You see other flatbeds right going to the same area. You be like, okay, I'm in the right Approaching spot. Approaching destination at 0.2 miles on the right side. Okay, here we go. Arbor Tech Forest Products. That's where I'm going. Arbor Tech Forest Products. He's going somewhere else. You okay. have arrived at your destination on the right side. You have arrived at your destination. All visitors report to scale house. Stop, scale truck, traffic, trucks. Okay. Yeah, I see all the flatbeds out here. Looks like we made it. Looks like we made it, gang. I hope I don't gotta go back that same way. I need to be going back another way. Just put me back on 95. So I can take it on to the house. I got plans for the weekend. Hard hats must be worn in this area. So let me get my hard hat and put it on before I go in. here in front of me looks like one two three trucks and the one in front of me I can tell by the headache wreck that's a PNS yeah PNS partner Tennessee tags on the trailer one of my Battle buddies.
This is it, gang. Last load of the week. Drop this off Monday. Three straps, three straps, four straps. That's how we're gonna do it. That's how we're gonna do this one. Three, three, four. Three, three, four. That one's good. Loose. Yeah, we're gonna put four in the back. Anybody wanna ask me why I'm putting four in the back? That's just it. Four in the back. in the back. For anybody that don't know, for all the new flatbed drivers, you gotta put two within the first five feet. On the front and the back. Two within the first five feet. And matter of fact, I just realized I got that top layer right there. So I'm gonna put four on that one. But I don't got enough on this one side. Yeah, I don't got enough on this one side. So I'm gonna throw it from the other side. I'm gonna put four on that middle layer. I forgot I had that little pyramid thing in the middle. Yeah, I forgot about that. So we're gonna put a four on that middle one. Two across the top. Well, it look like, it, look like it covers the whole row. So I put four. Shouldn't take long for this load. I'm three hours from the house. I imagine it'll probably take me about, about 30 minutes to strap this load down. We're gonna get up out of here. I haven't figured out how to do the slingshot method. Like I see a lot of flatbeds going on. But I like to roll mines up like this. Cause that way I can keep them without twisting it. I tried that slingshot method. But I like to keep mine, see how I got it straight? I like to keep mine like that. See that? You slingshot it, sometimes it get all twisted up. So I would rather prefer, yeah, I'd rather prefer to roll it the way I do it. And then throw it. Keeps the twist out. What movie was that that I watched? What movie was that? trying to think of the movie when it's somebody what movie was that man he said look it keeps the water some shit some action movie I can't even remember now I, I'll think of it later oh I know what it was <laughs> it was gladiator gladiator I couldn't remember what it was. Y'all seen Gladiator? You remember when they tried to kill Russell Crowe? And and the guy, the, he was like, give me a proper burial. A proper burial. Y'all remember that part? And he was like, yeah, give me a proper warrior's death. And then like when they got ready to put the sword in his neck, he jumped up all of a sudden. Like he had to get on his knees and face the other direction. And then he jumped up all of a sudden and, and blocked it. And then he 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 some guy ran at him with a with a horse and he uh he like did something that, and made, I think he made the horse fall. And then the guy the other guy tried to tried to use his sword on him. And when he pulled the sword out, he couldn't get the sword out. And he was like frost. Sometimes it makes the blade stick. Y'all remember that? Y'all might, might not be no movie fanatics like me. 
Yeah, he said frost. Sometimes, sometimes it makes the blade stick. So that's why I don't do the slingshot method that I see some flat bedders doing. Y'all know how they do it. I'm pretty sure some of y'all watching my videos. I'm pretty sure y'all know how to do it too. That's not my strap on the ground either. But it looks like a PNS strap. Yeah, y'all know how to do that slingshot method. I can't do it. I can do it, but the strap be all twisted up. If y'all watched one of my older one of my older videos, I think I was I was in Massachusetts where I was tarping that load in the mud and I was doing my little technique. I do the Olympic technique. I, I roll it up like a, I roll it up. I hold it behind my head like a shot put. And then I throw it to the other side. I do the little Olympic technique. When I said, when they, whenever they have the auditions for the flatbed Olympics, see that strap? I put it right here behind my neck. Uh, throw it like a throw it like a shot put. Make sure it goes all the way to the other side. What y'all know about that? I know one thing. This trailer that I picked up yesterday, when I picked up that pre-tarp load, almost every strap on this trailer brand new. Like all three of these in the front, brand new. All those in the back, except for those two, three are all brand new straps. Yeah, so they got all brand new straps on this trailer. And I got a couple on the other side as well. Hey man, if I ain't had a chance to say it, I've been meaning to say it, but I ain't said it yet. But uh, so you know, y'all know my truck was broke down last week. <clears throat> so I hadn't been on YouTube. I hadn't been on YouTube in maybe like, uh, like a couple weeks or something. And so for all my new subscribers, I ain't. Yeah, all my new subs that's been watching my old videos, and you know, now that I came back, and y'all watching me now, watching the new stuff, I wanna welcome y'all to the channel, man. Welcome all my new subscribers. I wanna welcome my dog, McKinley Pearsall. He just started at PNS uh, last week. When my truck broke down, he started at PNS. Yeah, welcome my dog McKinley. Chris the trucker. He ain't started yet, but he's in the process. Yeah, welcome y'all to the channel, man. All right, gang. I'm gonna go ahead and hook these on the other side. I'm gonna tighten them up and I'm gonna roll out because that's pretty much. I'm gonna put one more strap in the on the, from the other side right here. To make it four, I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna go ahead and hit the road. So until next time, flatbed gang, I'm about to get up out of here. I'm out.